Hi, this is Pam Cordy of Crafty Cordy. Today I'd like to show you a mini album that I made with Heartfelt Creations Pampered Pooch design paper and the Wildwood Cottage die for the cottage. It also has some selected other Heartfelt Creation dies that I will mention as I go through each page. The top of this album is put together with a metal ring. For the purpose of this video, I have removed that metal ring so that it will be easier for you to see the individual pages as I talk about them. The cover says Celebrate Your Life and you will see that it has a daisy on it from one of the Hardfelt Creation daisy dies. It also has a stamped bone on it that is attached underneath the daisy. The middle of the daisy has pearls in it. And then at the top you'll see that I have cut out the little roof die from the Wildwood Cottage collection to make the roof of the doghouse. On the inside front cover you'll notice that I have the roof again and then you'll notice that I have used the die that is the dog collar and on the collar I have put silver glitter um, to show the bucket of that collar. In the little uh, collar I have tucked behind it a card and tied ribbon on it. This card can be used for photos or journaling of your best pooch. The next page has a luggage die from Heartfelt Creations and in it I have um, put a tag that I tucked, cut out with the luggage tag and then put little ribbon on it and this shows the little dog in a suitcase and then on the back it can be used for journaling. The edges of each one of the pages in this doghouse album have been inked um, to provide a more complete distressed look. The next page I cut out with some of the dies that cut ovals and rectangles. I also used the paw die and stuck that on with a little 3D foam and then behind the picture is a little journaling tag that can be used for a small photo or journaling and where the picture appears on this page you can put a picture of your favorite pooch. The next page has a paw also and once again has a little tag behind it and it also has a paw. On the next page I used a little 3D lacquered so that the I Woof You um, shows up like it was a, on a dog's collar. And then I also stamped a little dog bone at the bottom so that you could write in um, information about the picture that can be placed on the green paper. The next page has Wolf and once again this little tag has 3D lacquer on it. I stamped a little bone on the bottom and a place for a photo on this doghouse page. On the next page is a little paper bag that's tied together with a ribbon and on the bone that I stamped and cut out with a die it says bag of cookies and then below it you see another dog bone. Of course this would be my dog's favorite of the day. And then behind the little bag I have once again a little tag that I cut out with the dies. The next page also has a little paper bag and on this is a paw and then there's two little rabbits from the Wildwood uh, collection, the Woodsy Wonderland collection and this says bag of rabbits because my one of my whippets is very fond of catching and eating rabbits and once again you'll notice that there's a tag behind the little bag. On the next page 
I have left this for a photo. I stamped it make a wish and then used the tag life is good and a place for a photo and you can just tuck it underneath. I left that raised so that you can put a picture. One of the stamps and dies in the collection is the dog so I colored this and sponged inked it so that you have a nice birthday cake for the dog. The next page you will see that there is a tag um, tucked underneath a little row of dogs and this is one of the rows of dogs that's on one of the stamp sets and then there's a die to cut those out so I put that down at the bottom and then I cut out one of the tags from the collection which can be used for a photo or journaling of your dog. The next page is another one of those dogs colored and used to tuck in a tag at the bottom and once again another tag that can be used for photos or journaling. The next two pages are very similar and I use some of the border paper to make a little uh, belly band on these. Then I used a small clothespin and then I put two little photo or journaling tags on each side. And then on the back cover of this little dog mini album you will see that the roof of the doghouse is there again along with the back of the doghouse with a bone strip at the bottom. It was fun to come up with a creative idea for the Wildwood Cottage die and to make it into a doghouse using another one of their paper collections called Pamper Pooch. I hope you enjoyed this mini album and that you have a blessed day with your dog or dogs.